Hello students, it's me, your instructor Al Trujillo, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about how I became a textbook author. Actually, it's quite by accident, and it all goes back to a very fateful National Association of Geoscience Teachers field trip in Baja, California, all the way back in 1991. And at that time, I just started teaching at Palomar College, and this was a big meeting of a variety of different geoscience educators. And uh, somebody on the field trip said, hey, did you know the oceanography textbook author, Hal Thurman, is on the trip? And I said, well, no, I'd love to meet him. And he said, well, he's right over there. So I walked up to Hal. Here's a picture of him up on the right here. And um, I said, hi, I'm Al Trujillo. I teach at Palomar College, and I use your textbook. And he said, well, what do you think of it? And I said, well, there's some changes that I'd make. And he said, like what? And I said, well, how much time do you have? Because I've got detailed suggestions. And he said, why don't we get together after the evening program and we'll talk about it. And I said, great, I have a copy of the textbook with me. So that's one of the morals of the story is to be prepared. Even though I was on a weekend field trip, I was preparing for my class the next week and I had a copy of the book with me. So here's a shot of Ensenada, what it looks like. After our evening program, we, uh, we met and um, we walked down the main street there and found a quiet corner of a bar upstairs. And we went through the book page by page. And he kept buying me cold Coronas, and I kept talking to him about the book. And just to give you an idea of what uh, this looks like, what the book looks like, um, this was the third edition. And uh, there's an indication of the detail of my notes. I kept all sorts of notes about things I'd change. And so I went through them, and we talked until, geez, about 2 in the morning or so. And he was taking detailed notes himself. So the next edition of the book came out, the fourth edition. And I was credited in it, and uh, to my surprise, all the changes I suggested have been done in there, have been incorporated into the new edition. And then uh, a few years later, he calls me up out of the blue. Uh, he had just come out with a fifth edition, actually, or was working on the fifth edition. And he said that he had retired from teaching and that he wanted to, the publishers wanted him to co-author with somebody who was currently teaching, and he thought of me. And I was very reluctant to agree to this because it's never been one of my goals to be a textbook author. And I didn't know whether I had enough expertise or experience to do so, but he, he talked me into it. And I began working then, and the sixth edition came out. So you'll notice here it's uh, Trujillo, or Thurman and Trujillo for the sixth edition. And with subsequent editions then, uh, really Hal wanted to retire and was wanting to really get out of teaching or working on the book. And so he really turned it all over to me, which was quite a big responsibility. But I have always thought that what I should do is just uh, write like how I talk about things in class. It's called uh, talk writing, is what it's called. And um, so it's been very successful. And uh, then I became the lead author here in the eighth edition. And there's the ninth edition every three years on a publishing cycle here. Here's the 2011 edition, the 10th edition, which, by the way, uh, recently awarded a Texty Textbook Excellence Award uh, based on its content and how it presents material. And then um, currently, it's in, uh, just, just came out in 2013, carrying a 2014 copyright for the 11th edition. And in it, uh, a lot of new information, including uh, chunking out the information to make it easier to study. So that's kind of the history of how I got involved in the book, uh, all the way up to the 11th edition and beyond.